All right, how's it going? We're going to take a step back from our normal experience we have with cooking our own food and enjoying the, the uh, things we make, and we're going to try something different. Um, I come from a military family, and one of the things that folks in the military get to enjoy are their meals ready to eat. These are their field rations that they get when they go out in the field and do their stuff. Um, these are actual U.S. government property. Theoretically, commercial resale is unlawful. These were packaged before they changed the law, so we can actually buy these now. So uh, I, I did my research before I did buy them, just to make sure. So these are basically the rations they get when they go out in the field and uh, have to do their stuff. Now, uh, I bought a four pack of these. They were It's a variety pack, uh, and we selected two we're going to try today. First one we're going to try is menu number eight, meatballs and marinara sauce. Now these apparently come with their own way to cook the food. Uh, matter of fact, they call them the flameless ration heaters, and they make note that they're prohibited on airlines. So, uh, you ready to try some yeah. meatballs and marinara sauce, yes. military style? Yes, I'm right. very curious. And, uh, all right, let's go. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? I am hungry. So there's going to be more in here besides just the entree. They just list what the entree is. There's going to be the, uh, there's going to be some sort of side dishes and some sort of dessert and whatever. So we're going to try all these things. And it's not very peelable, so I'm going to take a pair of scissors to it. Even though it's appealing, it's not easy it's, to peel. It's not. There you go. It's lacking in appeal. All right, ready? Here we yes. go. What do we have? Drum roll, please. Oh. All right, we have a secondary set of packaging with a terrible... Oh, that one, yeah. All right. Oh, all you those. meant terrible. <laughs> yeah. Bubble. All right, so first of all, we have some instructions and a clear package. I think this is part of the, uh, this is part of the housing, the, the heating housing, so we'll keep set that aside. And there's all this sort of stuff that just came out of that package we have. Meatball, well it says meatballs and marinara, but that feels like the marinara sauce. There may be tiny meatballs in there, feel that. <laughs> feels kind of gross. Garlic mashed potatoes. It's got nutrition facts too. Yeah, we should get plates. We'll get plates in a minute. This is a some kind of a cookie. And, and the thing is, every one of these has nutrition facts on them. Oatmeal cookie. Cheese spread with jalapenos. We must have bread in there, I guess, huh? Italian breadsticks. Lemon lime flavored, no fruit juice. So we actually have lemon lime drink powder. Oh, then we have a beef snack. Kippered, chopped, and formed strips smoked. And this, this is all for the meatballs and marinara yeah, kit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have the heating up, the heating element. Now they're operating instructions here. So this is how the this is how the heating stuff works. So well we're gonna fi figure that out right now and then we'll go through the rest of this and try the snacky stuff. Uh, we'll save the cookie for dessert. Beef snack. Let's try the beef snack. I'm gonna try the beef snack and then we'll figure out the heater. We'll these, these are in an easy tear package. They tear open really easily, so that's nice. And then another package inside. So this is just a snack. This is part of their, one of their daily rations, so. Okay. Mm. Ew. Oh, it smells like jerky. It smells like a beef, beef stick. How's the taste? I don't want to taint your... I don't like it. <laughs> it's protein for the troops in the field. It's not... Um, if I were starving, I would uh, enjoy it a lot more, but I'm not. Okay. So, again, one of the things I want to point out is these are for 
folks who are needing to be working, energized, whatever. So there's a lot of calories in this. Just saying. All right, now. All right. Next, we're going to figure out how to operate the cooker. Like this. All right, so this is like a like a hot pocket heater kind of thing. And we have the meatballs. And we have the mashed potatoes. My guess is you put the mashed potatoes and you put the meatballs on the mashed potatoes. There's no noodles here. There are no noodles? No. Mm -mm. I, don't th I think noodles are probably, probably hard to put in this particular uh, medium. So, all right, let's read the instructions. All right, so we so we tear here to use the bag and then we tear here to retrieve our MREs and inside here I'm gonna see if this will come out there's a package of chemicals stuff assembly into the sleeve with top folded over and heater underneath with the heater underneath hold sleeve level until heater feels warm <laughs> this is funny they have this diagram it shows the sleeve and it's rock or something. <laughs> right here. It, it shows the sleeve, the folded in, the heater, and then you have a rock or something right here. That's what it says, rock or something, to hold it at sort of a 45 degree angle. After 10 to 15 minutes, depending on air temperature, top half of the bag can be torn off and the MRE can be eaten. Need MRE to ensure uniform temperature. Caution, the contents will be hot. Right here, it says where these lines are. So we, we hold the heater and the MRE up here above these lines. We put just a tiny bit of water in there. And then we, uh, up to between the lines, don't overfill. And then we drop those into the, into the water. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm sure once you've done this a time or two that you no longer worry about reading the instructions. This is the heater. It's, it's a powder that absorbs the water. Mm. It says Luxfer Mag Tech. And it wants us to be sure that we do not eat this. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Pour and water. Feels like it's seems like it's at the lines. So we're gonna drop this all into the water. And we're gonna put that in there. And we're gonna put this until it's tucked in like that. And now we're going to kind of hold it for a minute. Aren't we going to lean it up against a rock? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. They should hold it for a minute until you until you feel it start to heat up. Or okay, so we're holding for a minute. Feel feel the back. Feel that. Put your hand here. Okay. Oh, it's piping hot. Yeah. All right. Okay. Ten to fifteen minutes now. Ten to fifteen minutes before we eat. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can try some of this other stuff. We're gonna try some of the other stuff. Let's it's, do the bread sticks. Smelly. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. We've got this jalapeno bread. cheese spread with jalapenos. Okay. So here's the bread sticks. It looks like a piece of dough with some perforations. You just kind of break them off and make little bread sticks out of them. Let me serve you some. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Way better than the jerky. <laughs> Way better than the jerky. The um, jalapenos are actually a little spicy. Mm -hmm. And the bread is very dry. <clears throat> but It almost makes me think of like a... Not sweet, but like a Lorna Dune. But not crunchy. 
basically nothing like a Lorna Dune. But were I out in the field, I'd be dining like a king. Oh, I forgot to mention, we got condiments. Hmm. Ah, we got some, looks like some, uh, mm. breath, gum. some breath gum mm. for after. Awfully, awfully thoughtful of them. Iodized salt, big package of salt. Mm. Splenda. A moist towelette. Mmm. Oh, a napkin. Only the best for our troops. Very true. Look at that full size napkins. Yeah. And non dairy creamer and instant coffee. That makes sense. Look at that. I mean, the. In that little package, you have a full meal with plenty of calories for the day, breadsticks and a snack, coffee, and a dessert. I mean, come on. I gotta say, I actually really like the jalapeno <laughs> cheese spread. You want another one? I, I don't want to waste, I don't want to spoil my appetite for the marinara. Alright, so we are going to unpackage this a little... A little bit early, but um, we're hungry and we have a whole nother one of these to do. So let's, uh, so it says to take this out, tear it at the next tear line, which is here, which is here. Careful that it doesn't like steam, Ooh. steam you. So you can tell that the, the mashed potatoes aren't done. So, I mean, they're, they're, they're warm, but they're not hot. The, uh, ooh, look at that. It's got a bunch of condensation on it. And we, we need to knead this to make sure the heat. Correct. Garlic, mashed potatoes, it actually smells Are they pretty, small and garlic? Yeah. It smells pretty good. They're pretty dry and crumbly. But again, this is not four-star dining. This is field dining. This is what the mashed potatoes look like. And meat ball layer in there. Now this tear is really easy, so that's good. This just comes right up. Mm. Look at that. That's a pretty good portion. Shame there's no grated parmesan. <laughs> okay, so look. That's what the meatball marinara looks like over the mashed potatoes. That's a, that's a good portion. Can I smell it? Yes, absolutely. All right. Are you ready to try some? Yes. Yeah. Ladies first. A little piece of mashed potato and... I don't like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, that's fine. Um, not gourmet. If I was out in the middle of nowhere, perfectly, perfectly fine eating. I'm down. Certainly had worse things in my mouth. Okay. Um, next we have the cookie. Are you ready for the cookie? Yes. Now this is not going to go to waste. I'm absolutely going to eat this, but for the sake of the video, we're going to move along. All right, and last but not least, one oatmeal. Was it oatmeal raisin? Just oatmeal. Oatmeal cookie. Oatmeal.
Ooh, that didn't want to. It's crunchy. It smells cinnamony. It smells delicious. It's a crunchy cookie, but it tastes really good. Okay. I think this is the first thing I have tasted that I would fully expect to pull out of like a store-bought bag of cookies. Like this is totally on par with oatmeal cookies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Overall, how would you rate the meatball marinara from the perspective that you this was all you had to eat and you were out in the middle in the, in the desert somewhere? So like scale of one to 10. Given those parameters. Given those parameters. Three. See, I'd give it about a seven. Knowing that this was all I had to eat and I was hungry and I was active and needing to have my energy for doing military stuff, I'd give it a good solid seven. I like the whole thing, the whole gamut. It's all stuff that is definitely going to um, provide me the calories and the energy uh, that I need to do my job. So, there we have meatball marinara. Meat okay, so. Overall, your thoughts on the marinara meatball? Made me think of Chef Boyardee. Could you could said. you eat it and survive off of it? Oh sure. Um, the best part of that one was the, oh, cook that? Mm -hmm. the cookie. Um, I like the jalapeno cheddar. The jalapeno stuff, cheddar good was good. Which looked a lot like the stuff that came out of the potatoes, <laughs> didn't it? It did. It did. There you have it. Our adventure with MREs, part one. We have two more of these we're going to try when I can get Victoria to do it again. <laughs> uh, but in the meantime, uh, I guess that's my dinner. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by and sharing this time with us. And uh, I guess we'll see you later. Bye now. Bon appétit. <laughs>